Hello there guys, Francis Gray here and in today's video we'll be taking a quick look at and test review of some various glow in the dark paints from Crolando. I'll see you after this. <laughs> Okay guys, so I went ahead and I found these in my local little store, of all places. And uh, first of all I bought this one, because I thought, look I had a project on that I thought I could use some glow in the dark paint with. And I thought this is definitely the colour that I need, so I bought it. And then the next day, when I went in to get some, uh, some more supplies, uh, I saw that there was just one blue. And I thought, oh right, well since there's only one, I'll buy that one as well. But while I was there, I then realised that there was a green as well. So at first glance, I thought that these were the same, but as you can see there, they're not. So if there's, is there any difference between them? Well, we'll put that to the test. So I'll give you a quick 360 of all sides of a box. So you can see there, 150 millilitres. And it's the same on all the boxes, the only difference is the colour, really. So yeah, so I'll go ahead and I'll open one of these up. Okay, so this is what you get inside. So yeah, so I'll get the others out. There's the blue. And lastly, and then we have the green. So at first glance there, the yellow and the green are actually quite different. So, yeah. So yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and base coat some spoons so we can go ahead and give these a try. Soon after. Okay, so now that we've gone ahead and painted all the main spoon test pieces, so as you can see there, all three of them have a silver, a white and a black and we have a base coat of the, nat of the natural colour. So yellow for yellow, blue for blue and green for green. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to label these with a bit of masking tape so we know what each one is. And I'm going to give each spoon at least three coats of each individual paint. And then we can go ahead and see the... Difference. 12 seconds later. Okay, so these are all in the sections. So black base and then G for green glow. And then same with these ones blue base, B for blue glow. And then lastly, the same yellow base and yellow glow just a good way of it's just a good way of cataloging what we've done so far so now that we've done that let's go ahead and move on to the next step the next step okay so first up is the yellow Okay, so first glance, it does feel kind of uh, sticky and slimy, kind of like that, like play goo that kids play with a little bit. Maybe not as thick, but still, it's, uh, yeah, it's a weird consistency to say it's uh, paint. But we'll we'll continue. Okay guys, so at first glance, um, there's a weird smell with this, I'll, I'll be honest, this kind of smells a little bit plasticky, it's not off-putting, but you uh, when you do open it, you do realise that it is there. So yeah, so this is the first coat, so I'll go ahead and I'll leave that to fully dry, and then I'll go over with at least another two coats, and then we'll see what the, uh, what the difference is like. Moments later. Ok 
Okay, let's leave them in there for at least 10 minutes. 10 minutes later. Okay guys, so I went ahead and did a little test, but unfortunately with only three quarts, it uh, it wasn't very uh, very interesting, it wasn't great results. So I didn't want to give up an experiment, so I thought I would go ahead and give at least five quarts. Now, any more than that, that's kind of ridiculous, you don't really want to be making, like, painting the same thing six or seven times. So I thought five would be the maximum, so... I'll give you a quick look at uh, what they look like just naturally. So as you can see there, you do see streaks. It kind of dries, kind of glossy. Now with the silver, I don't know if it's showing up on the camera or not, but there is like a green tinge, like a yellowy green tinge over it. That you can uh, visually see over the silver. The worst is probably the white. That's really, uh, really showing up the uh, the layer lines of where it's being painted and black. Black probably looks the best visually. Um, black or the yellow, but as you can see there, with so many multiple layers, you can still see it. Okay, so uh, let's turn the lights down and see what it looks like. Okay, so as you see there, that is glowing great, but the actual spoons themselves, not that brilliant. So here is the yellow, so as you can see there, not much going on. And then here is the, uh, is the silver, same again, not much going on. Now the one that's shown up the best is white. So same again, not blowing me away. And then lastly black. It's uh, to the naked eye there is a little bit of a glow but on camera it's not showing up at all. So let's see what they look like under a black light. So these work much better under a black light. So as you can see there, that's glowing a lot more. Same with that one. Same again, white is definitely the best. Black. It is showing up under a black light, but it's barely showing up. So I'd say for Black light glow, white is the winner, but obviously white hat shows the, the more streaks. So the best overall for not showing the streaks and being glow in the dark, I'd probably say is the base colour, yellow. Okay, let's crack on with blue. Okay, so for the next one, we're going to do the blue. Okay, so much like the other one, it's uh, it is quite uh, rubbery, um, or it might just be the top surface. When you move it on the inside, it does thin out a little bit. So it might just be when uh, air re re reacts with it. So yeah, we'll see. Okay, so same again. There is a plasticky smell to it, but same again. It's not off-putting. You just know it's there. So yeah, let's go ahead and give these a base coat. Okay, I'll leave them to dry and then I'll go over and give them another two coats, so three coats in total, and then we'll compare the results. A little longer than a few minutes later. Again, I'm going to go ahead and leave it for 10 minutes. 10 minutes later. Okay, so here is the blue. So as you can see, the base colour there. There is some 
some layer lines but it just looks like it's been glossed that's no big huge deal silver um, to the eye there is a blue tinge to it but on the camera it's not really showing up white is definitely the most distracting that's barely white anymore that's uh, like a blue tinge to it and as you can see there the layer lines of the paint stroke marks are very visible and then black same again it's uh, not as visible on the black so for overall paint application the best one's probably the base color and then I'd say black then it's silver and then white okay let's turn the lights off Okay, so same again, the tub's glowing beautifully, but mixed results with the... Yeah, not very good at glowing. White's definitely the best for glow, but same again, it looks kind of rubbish when the lights are on and then this is black non-existent so very similar results to yellow let's see what's like under a bl black light so yeah under a black light it does seem to glow a bit better It's worked out quite well. Oh, that's just popped. That's quite nice. But same again, white the white base coat looks the worst in natural light. Black. Oh, that's just popped a little bit. But not worth writing home about so yeah so for glow in the dark white is the best base coat but for paint application it's the worst so the best happy medium is a, once again the the base coat there we go okay let's crack on with green and now on to the green. Okay, so once again, same again, it's really thick on the top, uh, a little bit thinner on the inside, and you do smell that same plasticky kind of rubber smell. So, yeah, looks like they're all exactly the same in that department okay same as the other two tests I'm gonna go ahead and leave these to dry and then we'll check out the results and once again 10 minutes 10 minutes later Okay, so once again here we are with green, so the application on the green spoon That's actually quite nice. Yes, you can see the the paint marks, but uh, it's not as visible So yeah, quite impressed with that one silver There is a green tinge to this and the layer the the paint stroke marks are not that visible. I can see this being maybe a decent base coat to like some uh, some uh, some little like necrons on the skins or well not skin on the metal on the flesh part. Well, you know what I mean. The uh, it might work really well for some of them. Okay, white, 
that's uh, way more visible it's not distracting I can see that having some paint application uh, use in the future but you can, you definitely see the the stroke marks a lot more in this there you go and now on the black so black looks okay it works quite well as like a gloss on black but uh, yeah I don't think it'll uh, be very good in the dark so okay let's turn the lights out <clears throat> so very similar results the paint is glowing lovely in the jar visually to the spoons white is definitely the brightest let's have a quick look at black uh, sorry not green sorry there's green and then we've got silver silver is glowing quite quite decent white is definitely the best but same again it's probably the worst application paint wise and then black is pretty much non-existent so I can see it with the eye but on the camera it's just not not showing up at all so let's have a look where it's like with uh, black light so as you can see there white is definitely the brightest so, so there's green. So definitely show up best in this black light, which I don't understand because the other ones are more powerful. So I don't know why they're showing up a lot more on the little black light torch compared to a big one so yeah that's kind of interesting so yeah it uh, doesn't seem to hold its luminosity that's a good word for me luminosity very long so I wonder if these would be better uh, um, being left in daylight for long like long periods of hours rather than UV light uh, but I have heard that UV charging it under UV light is um, is a lot better results over not natural daylight I don't know if that's true or not that's just where I head on another video but yeah, let's uh, put the lights back up. Overall thoughts. Okay guys, so this is the finished results. So yeah, uh, can I recommend these paints? Uh, overall, I would say compared to what I was hoping for, I am a little bit underwhelmed, a little bit disappointed. But saying that, I have learned a lot from this and I do think that these do have some kind of merits that could be used going forward on certain builds if it was a really important build um, then I, I think I would go elsewhere I think I would buy something a little bit more expensive because uh, these were only £4 a tub but overall it, uh, it it works great under a black light so if you're gonna instead of just being a natural just glow in the dark if you were gonna do a build that had black light aspects to it I don't think you could go wrong with these but uh, overall if you just want natural just glow in the dark unfortunately they're not that brilliant and they're not they don't seem to last very long they don't seem to keep the luminosity very long so yeah I, I hope this video was informative I hope you got something from it if you have please smash that like button and uh, if you can be really kind, share on Facebook and Twitter, because those new people find the YouTube channel, which I'm always appreciative of. Thank you for any help. If you have any comments, comment below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you haven't already, please smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so you don't miss out on future builds, or future reviews, or modelling tips, etc. 
And if you want to be a really awesome viewer, please take five minutes to check out my Patreon page, where with your help we can do these videos full-time rather than part-time, which means a lot more content for you and a lot more work for me. And uh, yeah, overall, uh, I've enjoyed this test, but unfortunately I am a little bit underwhelmed. So yeah, so uh, once again, I'm Francis Gray, and this is free glow-in-the-dark paints, yellow, blue and green from Colando. I'll see you in the next build.